Welcome to a fresh week of the Rundown. This week, we talk with SecNav and MCPON on the eSailor Initiative. CMP does some myth-busting on direct accessions, plus the latest on changes to the Navy working uniform. First off, a big congratulations to all the first classes out there who have been selected to become Navy Chiefs. The active duty E7 results are out. You can read the list of selectees in NAV Admin 173-16. This week, we've taken the opportunity to speak with two special guests, Secretary of the Navy, the Honorable Ray Mabus, and Mick Pond Stevens, to talk about the boot camp digital revolution known as the eSailor Initiative. The eSailor Initiative has been piloted at Recruit Training Command in Great Lakes over the last year and is designed to encourage the use of tablets to help train recruits. We talked with SecNav and Mick Pond about the status of eSailor, how they plan to introduce the initiative to the fleet, and SecNav's plan for future innovation. Well, it's the way that people before they become sailors, before they're recruited, mm -hmm. it's the way they're learning today. Right. It's the way that they communicate with the world, it's the way they get information, and so it's moving the Navy right there to the way people are already learning. And it's allowing us to put their studies, the things they need to know at recruit training, the things they need to know about their career, and uh, it's going to allow us in the future to move this to a much wider. The full video can be viewed on Navy Live. Keep watching here for all the latest news on eSailor. CMP Vice Admiral Robert Burke has a blog on Navy Live where he responds to myths surrounding direct accessions. The question raised is if the Navy can or will bring in individuals who possess certain skills into senior enlisted and commissioned ranks in the Navy. CMP says that although the idea is not new and has been done before, there is no intention to put direct accessions into action at this time. Read more on CMP's response from the blog on Navy Live. Finally, the Navy will begin transitioning to the NWU Type 3 as the primary shore working uniform on October 1st. NWU Type 1s are authorized for wear until October 1st, 2019, when the Type 3s become a requirement for your sea bag. This three-year transition period will give sailors a chance to prepare for the change and allow them to wear recently purchased Type 1 uniforms. Sailors who currently own the Type 3s can wear them at their command beginning October 1st. Black boots will be the primary boot worn with the Type 3s. Stay tuned to the rundown for further details on uniform changes. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.